Okay, now let's review um, radioactive decay. Okay, let's go from here. Dealing with how atoms change and some processes like this. Um, periodic table, I would recommend you go back to a mini lesson I have on this periodic table and another website that provides good information for you. Get that. Okay, this gives you a review of the isotopes. And now, the other lesson I had about the periodic tables, it, if you click on each element, it shows you the different isotopes if they have any. So that's a good um, mini lesson on the periodic table. I highly recommend you visit that and the website. So we'll just read the definitions here. Just kind of go over this briefly. Uh, radioactivity or radioactive, the ability of an atomic nucleus to spontaneously change with the release of radiation. Okay. Now radioactive decay, the process by which certain unstable atoms lose energy in a predictable manner. Here's a little graph to show you. Radiation would be like rays and particles, including alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays released by the radioactive decay. So what is going on for that? Um, isotopes would be like a specific type of a certain atom defined by the new uh, neutrons it contains. So that meaning that some atoms carry more neutrons than others or have more neutrons than others. Okay. Now alpha decay, here's just an example of what is going on for alpha decay. Beta decay. Then emission and gamma decay. So then light wave, let's click on this definition. It goes over um, electromagnetic spectrum and it talks about light waves, what goes on, just showing you different types of light waves throughout. So then let's review here. This gives us a couple examples. Question, we'll let you, uh, Let's see. Actually, you know what? I will go over this one. So gamma decay, there's no change in the mass number or atomic number. Then emission, um, citron emission would be the atomic number decreases by one. Alpha decay, um, mass and atomic number both decrease. Beta decay, atomic number increases by one. Unless you want this on your own. Here's kind of the sequencing order they would go in as well. Nuclear equations, basically in short terms, here's the isotope, reactants and products, uh, chemical equations here, like what is going on here and how are they splitting or sharing the electrons? Okay, talks about beta decay in their equation. Periodic table, this will come in handy. Make sure you refer back to this. Uh, the questions, I will have you do the questions on your own. The rates of radioactive decay, like what happens, how fast does something decay over time? And just kind of gives you the half-life. So I think of like, when you're thinking of radioactive decay, think of like carbon, because then carbon, like the half-life of carbon, carbon 12, that usually will go in more depth of like you're showing you different decays. Um, this simulation will show you so how something decays over time. Or think of like fossils and fossil fuels, how things would decay in the ground. So this kind of just gives you, like it just shows you an example of something decaying over time. and what they do. But it's something like that. But if you want to think of like decay, like I would think of carbon, fossil fuels, math review. Uh, also, if you look back at some of my other math lessons, it gives you these in more depth. I give some a lot of mini lessons on this stuff as well.
that just goes over a couple equations. Yep, and then carbon-14, radioactive, and I talked about carbon-12. That's like the most common when you think of decay, think of something like carbon or fossil fuels decaying over time, something like this. So like fossils kind of decaying underneath the ground over time, something like that. Uh, significant figures, I recommend that you go back to the mini lesson or refer to this website, but the mini lesson I have provides a lot of good information on significant figures as well. And hopefully that uh, clears it up. It gives you just a little bit of better understanding. And I uh, hope you enjoyed.